The event that happened today, September 1st, the lethal combination of German blitzkrieg tactics, French and British inactivity, and Soviet perfidy doomed Poland to swift defeat after Adolf Hitler invaded the country this day in 1939 and sparked World War II. In a search led by American oceanographer Robert Ballard, the wreck of the Titanic was found on the ocean floor at a depth of about 13,000 feet or 4,000 meters. A great earthquake struck the Tokyo-Yokohama metropolitan area. The death toll from the shock was estimated at 142,800. The event that happened today, September 2nd. On this day in 1666, the Great Fire of London began accidentally in the house of the King's Baker. It burned for four days and destroyed a large part of the city, including Old St. Paul's Cathedral and about 13,000 houses. American politician Theodore Roosevelt, who was then the Republican vice presidential candidate, gave the first public speech in which he said, Speak softly and carry a big stick. You will go far. The big stick policy later became a central feature of his presidency. Octavian, later Augustus Caesar, won a decisive victory over Mark Antony in the Battle of Actium. The event that happened today, September 3rd. Colombian drug trafficker Griselda Blanco, who was a leading figure in the Miami drug scene in the 1970s and early 80s, and was known as the godmother of cocaine, was fatally shot in Medellin, Colombia. American director Frank Capra, who was best known for a series of beloved films that included Mr. Smith Goes to Washington, 1939, and It's a Wonderful Life, 1946, died at age 94. English navigator Henry Hudson, in a quest for a passage to India on behalf of the Dutch East India Company, sailed into the harbor of present-day New York City and up the river that now bears his name. The event that happened today, September 4th. On this day in 1781, Spanish settlers laid claim to what became Los Angeles, now the second most populous U.S. city and the home to Hollywood whose name is synonymous with the American motion picture industry. Australian wildlife conservationist and television personality Steve Irwin, who achieved worldwide fame as the exuberant and risk-taking host of The Crocodile Hunter, 1992-2006 TV series and related documentaries, was killed by a venomous bull stingray. American swimmer Mark Spitz won his seventh gold medal during the Munich Olympic Games, the first person ever to do so in a single Olympics. The event that happened today, September 5th, at a scientific conference in Washington, D.C. this day in 2001, scientists described an observation of energy flares that provided strong evidence of the theorized black hole at the center of the Milky Way galaxy. American boxer Muhammad Ali, then known as Cassius Clay, won the gold medal in the 175-pound division at the 1960 Olympic Games in Rome and then embarked on a professional career that saw him become one of the sport's most legendary competitors. The reign of terror began as harsh measures were undertaken against those suspected of being enemies of the French Revolution, nobles, priests, and hoarders. In Paris, a wave of executions followed. The event that happened today, September 6th, Republican William McKinley, the 25th President of the United States, 1897-1901, was shot this day in 1901 by Leon Cholgos, an anarchist, at the Pan American Exposition in Buffalo, New York, and died eight days later. South African Prime Minister Hendrik Verwoerd, who rigorously developed and applied the policy of apartheid, was stabbed to death by a temporary parliamentary messenger who was later ruled insane. American professional baseball player Cal Ripken Jr. played in his 2,131st consecutive game, surpassing Lou Gehrig's record, which had stood for more than 56 years. The event that happened today, September 7th, on this day in 1191, the Muslim army of Saladin attacked the crusaders of Richard I, the Lionheart, at the Battle of Arsuf, and though Richard successfully counterattacked in the evening, his march to Jerusalem was delayed. American rapper and actor Tupac Shakur, one of the leading names in 1990s gangsta rap, was shot by an unknown assailant and died six days later. ESPN, a cable network dedicated to sports, debuted on American television. The event that happened today, September 8th. On this day in 1429, French heroine Joan of Arc, 
a peasant girl who believed she was acting under divine guidance, attempted to oust the Duke of Burgundy and take Paris for newly crowned King Charles VII. After more than seven decades on the British throne, Elizabeth II died at the age of 96. Her eldest son became King Charles III. Michelangelo's The David was unveiled in the Piazza della Signoria in Florence. Considered a masterpiece, the sculpture is one of the defining works of the Renaissance. The event that happened today, September 9th, Marxist revolutionary Mao Zedong, who died this day in 1976, emerged as the undisputed Chinese Communist Party leader following the Long March and dominated China in the period after the Communist takeover in 1949, American tennis player Pete Sampras defeated Andre Agassi at the U.S. Open to capture his first of 14 Grand Slam singles titles. The Democratic People's Republic of Korea, North Korea, was proclaimed, setting the stage for the Korean War. The event that happened today, September 10th, having survived capture by Indians, reputedly through the efforts of Pocahontas, a chief's daughter, John Smith became president of Jamestown Colony, the first permanent English settlement in North America, this day in 1608. The Large Hadron Collider, the world's most powerful particle accelerator, conducted its first test operation. The TV series The X-Files, starring David Duchovny and Gillian Anderson, debuted on Fox, and it developed a huge cult following. The event that happened today, September 11th. On this day in 2001, 19 militants associated with the terrorist group Al-Qaeda hijacked four planes in the United States, crashing three into buildings, the fourth crashed in Pennsylvania, and killing some 3,000 people. The 11-month siege of Sevastopol ended after British and French troops finally captured the main naval base of the Russian Black Sea Fleet during the Crimean War. The Duke of Marlborough led a British army of 100,000 men against a French army of 90,000 at the Battle of Malplaquet in the War of the Spanish Succession. The event that happened today, September 12th. Astronaut Mae Jemison became the first African-American woman to fly in space, part of the STS-47 Space Lab J mission. South African activist Steve Biko died from injuries suffered while in police custody. He subsequently became an international martyr for South African black nationalism. In Montignac, France, four teenage boys found the Lascaux Cave, which contains one of the most outstanding displays of prehistoric art ever discovered. The event that happened today, September 13th, King Philip III of Spain, Philip II of Portugal, crowned on this day in 1598, was virtuous in his private affairs but indifferent as a ruler, and extravagant in his spending, exacerbating Spain's growing economic problems. American singer, songwriter, and mandolin player Bill Monroe, considered the father of bluegrass music, was born. American railroad foreman Phineas Gage suffered a traumatic brain injury when an iron rod shot through his skull and obliterated the greater part of the left frontal lobe of his brain. He survived with apparently no lasting physical damage, though some claimed that his personality had changed. The event that happened today, September 14th, U.S. General Winfield Scott's advance on Mexico City was marked by an unbroken series of victories that culminated this day in 1847, when he entered Mexico City and ended the military phase of the Mexican-American War. Elizabeth Ann Seton, the first American-born saint, was canonized by the Roman Catholic Church. Russian physiologist Ivan Pavlov, known chiefly for his development of the concept of the conditioned reflex, was born. The event that happened today, September 15th. On this day in 1821, Central American notables accepted a plan drafted by the Mexican caudillo Agustin de Iturbide that brought independence from Spain to Costa Rica, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, and Nicaragua. Prince Harry of Wales, the younger son of Charles, Prince of Wales, and Diana, Princess of Wales, was born in London. Muhammad Ali won the World Heavyweight Boxing Championship for the third time with his victory over Leon Spinks. The event that happened today, September 16th. On this date in 1620, English colonists aboard the Mayflower set sail for America, where they founded Plymouth, Massachusetts, after 41 men, including William Bradford and Miles Standish, signed the Mayflower Compact. 
The Basque separatist organization ETA announced an indefinite ceasefire after 30 years of terrorist guerrilla attacks in Spain that were blamed for 800 deaths. The peace lasted 14 months. King Hussein of Jordan declared martial law following the hijacking of four international airliners by the Popular Front for the Liberation of Palestine, PFLP. The event that happened today, September 17th. American Harriet Tubman escaped from the southern plantation where she was enslaved and later led other enslaved people to freedom in the north along the route of the Underground Railroad. Union forces halted the Confederate advance on Maryland during the Battle of Antietam. The battle resulted in more than 26,000 casualties, one of the bloodiest days of the American Civil War. Mexican artist Frida Kahlo was severely injured in a bus accident, and during her recovery she began painting and soon abandoned her plans for a career in medicine. The event that happened today, September 18th. On this day in 1931, in the so-called Mukden incident, the Japanese army in Manchuria used the pretext of an explosion along its railway to occupy Mukden and to increase its control within three months to all of Manchuria. American lawyer Ruth Bader Ginsburg, who was the second woman to serve on the U.S. Supreme Court, died at age 87. British forces under Sir Horatio Herbert Kitchener confronted French forces commanded by Jean-Baptiste Marchand at the disputed Fort of Fashoda in the Egyptian Sudan. The event that happened today, September 19th. In his farewell address, printed in a Philadelphia newspaper on this day in 1796, George Washington, the first U.S. president, implored his country to maintain neutrality and avoid entangling alliances with Europe. In the Otztal Alps on the Italian-Austrian border, German tourists discovered a mummified human body, later known as the Iceman that was subsequently determined to date from 3,300 BCE. The Montgolfier brothers sent aloft a balloon with a rooster, a duck, and a sheep aboard, rapidly advancing French aeronautics. The event that happened today, September 20th, Hurricane Maria struck Puerto Rico, causing more than $90 billion in damages, and according to government officials, nearly 3,000 deaths. Don't ask, don't tell. A U.S. military policy that theoretically lifted a ban on homosexuals in the armed forces, provided that individuals kept their sexuality private, officially ended. Portuguese explorer Ferdinand Magellan departed from San Lucar de Barrameda, Spain, on a quest to circumnavigate the globe. Although he died during the voyage, the expedition achieved its goal. The event that happened today, September 21st. According to the teachings of The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, Moroni was an angel or resurrected being who appeared to Joseph Smith on this day in 1823 and instructed him to restore God's church on earth. Philippine President Ferdinand Marcos imposed martial law in the Philippines, beginning a period of harsh authoritarian rule. While experimenting with gallic acid, a chemical he was informed would increase the sensitivity of his prepared paper, William Henry Fox Talbot discovered that the acid can be used to develop a latent image on paper, leading to a revolution in photography. The event that happened today, September 22nd. The first episode of Friends aired on NBC, and the show became one of the most popular sitcoms in the United States. The first issue of National Geographic magazine was published, and it became famous for its richly illustrated articles on the various geographic regions of the world. The Iran-Iraq War began when Iraqi armed forces invaded western Iran along the country's joint border. Fighting continued until 1988, and a formal peace agreement was signed in 1990. The event that happened today, September 23rd. This day in 1846, astronomer Johann Gottfried Galle became the first person ever to observe the planet Neptune, the existence of which had been mathematically predicted by Urbain Jean-Joseph Le Verrier and John Couch Adams. Jamaican musician Bob Marley, who was especially known for popularizing reggae, performed his last concert, a sold-out show in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. He died of cancer the following year. Mary Mallon, who later became known as Typhoid Mary, accused of causing multiple outbreaks of typhoid fever while working as a domestic servant in the United States, was born in Ireland. The event that happened today, September 24th. American alternative rock group Nirvana released its breakthrough album, Nevermind. 
which helped make grunge an international phenomenon and gave voice to Generation X. Don Budge won the U.S. Open, becoming the first player to win a Grand Slam title in tennis. Devil's Tower in northeastern Wyoming was named the first national monument in the United States. The event that happened today, September 25th, American golfer Arnold Palmer, who used an unorthodox swing and an aggressive approach to become one of golf's most successful and well-liked stars, died at age 87. Kenyan politician and environmental activist Wangari Mathai, who was the first black African woman to win a Nobel Prize, died at age 71. American journalist Barbara Walters, who is especially known for her highly effective technique in television interviews of world-renowned figures, was born. The event that happened today, September 26th, the first in a series of historic televised debates, seen by some 85 to 120 million viewers, between U.S. presidential candidates John F. Kennedy and Vice President Richard M. Nixon, was broadcast this day in 1960. The Beatles released Abbey Road, their last recorded album, Let It Be, though mostly recorded earlier than Abbey Road, was released in 1970. During the bombardment of the Acropolis by Venetian forces, part of the Parthenon was destroyed in a powder explosion. The event that happened today, September 27th. A week of international climate change protests, led by youths, notably Swedish activist Greta Thunberg, ended, with millions having participated in the demonstrations. Rachel Carson's Silent Spring was published, and it became one of the most influential books in the modern environmental movement. Twelve days after being elected Pope, Urban VII died, making his papacy the shortest in history. The event that happened today, September 28th, explorer Juan Rodriguez Cabrillo, known as the Discoverer of California, landed this day in 1542 near what is now San Diego and became the first European to set foot on the west coast of what would become the United States. In what became known as the Black Sox Scandal, Eight members of the Chicago White Sox baseball team were indicted by a grand jury on charges that they had thrown the 1919 World Series to the Cincinnati Reds in return for a bribe. SpaceX successfully launched Falcon 1, becoming the first privately owned company to send a liquid-fueled rocket into orbit. The event that happened today, September 29th. Through the efforts of Robert Peel, England's first professional police force, London's Metropolitan Police, often called Scotland Yard, was founded. It became a model for future police departments in various other countries, including the United States. Julia Gillard, who in 2010 became Australia's first female prime minister, was born in Wales. Set in motion by the Balfour Declaration of 1917, the British mandate for the establishment of a Jewish homeland in Palestine was finally approved by the Council of the League of Nations and came into force this day in 1923. The event that happened today, September 30th, the Danish newspaper Jillens Posten printed satiric cartoons of the Prophet Muhammad provoking violent protests by Muslims worldwide. The USS Nautilus, the world's first nuclear-powered vessel, was commissioned by the U.S. Navy. American baseball player Babe Ruth became the first player to hit 60 home runs in a single season. His record stood until Roger Maris hit 61 in 1961.